guys, so I'm on my way to take Hugo to an appointment. He's got to get his blood work checked. Didn't check in with you guys this morning because I was running a little late to work and the weather was not good. It was not good at all. So pretty much all I've done today is work. I'm gonna take him to his appointment. I'm gonna go home. I edit yesterday's vlog. Last night was so much fun. It really was. I don't know, for a while I hadn't been really going out, mainly because my friends that I usually go out with, their schedules just don't coincide with mine. But I've just been branching out and going out with different, you know, groups of friends and stuff like that, people I meet. And I've been having so much fun. I just love, like, dancing. It's like my favorite thing to do. I just love to go out and dance. I just love to dance. And I know, like, I could just put music on and dance at home. It's not the same, you know? Like, it's like when the DJ plays your song, it's just like, you know? It's so much more fun. I'm pretty hungry. I haven't eaten much today. I had the rest of I got a salad last night, the place we're at. And I haven't had anything other than half of that salad, which I had this morning for breakfast. So, like, the, the place that we're at, was, it's a really, really nice restaurant. But because there's so much construction, the area they have all these like drink specials and whatnot but they have this like hidden gem salad it's twelve dollars and it's their chopped salad and I'm not even kidding this salad it the plate is this big and it's a huge mound and it's not just like the regular stuff that people put in salads like the cheapy stuff like just lettuce and maybe tomato a little like onion no it has like like corn in it like chopped up like I think there's um like literally all these different kinds of vegetables, garbanzo beans, like all this stuff for $12. Super filling and it's like easily two portions. So it's just funny because like everything is super expensive there. And like that salad, I love it. It's got like a like sherry uh, Dijon dressing. It's just phenomenal and it has so many vegetables. Like if you tried to make that salad at home, it would cost you way more than $12. I don't know how they do it. Like because you have to buy all the stuff, you know. If that place was closer, I would get that... I would go eat there at least once a week to get that salad because there's so many vegetables. It's just like in it. Corn, all kinds of stuff. It's delicious. I would eat it again today. So, that's what we're doing. We're just driving. And Hugo, after so much time of trying to stay standing up while I drive, only recently, the past couple times, he's sitting right now. He's just chilling and chilling. He finally realized that, hey, if you sit down, it's less it's less stressful. It's less stressful. Right, Hugo? I think I'm just watching. Me. My back wind was for him. Oh, that freaked him out. Just kidding, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, check with you guys later. Yep, I know my hair's crazy. I know it's crazy. So, when we got home from his appointment, we took a nap. I was exhausted. And it was amazing. So, at his appointment, they checked the regular stuff that they usually check with his blood work, but today they also checked the liver and kidneys. And the reason for that is to see if the chemo had done any damage to his liver and kidneys, which, good news, it hasn't, which means that um, if, I hate to say if, because it's like too hopeful, because it's like a less than 1% chance that the cancer won't come back, you know what I mean? But if the cancer comes back, I'm going to try to be helpful. If the cancer comes back, that means we can go at it again with chemo because like his liver and kidneys are still good. So that's really good. Also, he says that, because I asked him like on average, based in, on his experience, how long do dogs stay in remission until like it comes back? And he said six to 13 months. I had asked him this before and I don't know if he misunderstood my question or whatever because I was asking if that included the treatment period and he had said yes but today I asked him again and he was like no it doesn't include the treatment period and I clarified that it's 6 to 13 months from now which is amazing that means that unless something tragic happens he'll be around for Christmas again which is like so great you know I'm definitely excited about that <sighs> so yeah he still has to get like blood work often just to like you know check and see how his immune system is doing and whatnot that reminds me to to update his GoFundMe and put all the new invoices on there. Oh, yeah. I went and I sat in the bathroom with the little dog, did a bunch of listings on eBay, sitting there in there with him, which was good because, you know, it's like stuff that I could do in there and just like 
you know, play with him and throw the toy and stuff. And it got to the point where, like, he laid down and was just, like, chilling, which is good. I gotta do more of that. It's just really uncomfortable because my toilet seat cover is, like, super cheap. It's a cheap one. So when you sit on it, you kind of, like, your butt, like, kind of sinks in. And I, feel, I always feel like I'm gonna break it, which I probably will one day. But gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm going to uh, put the dogs in the crate right now, take the little one out, and uh, get ready for bed. I gotta get up super, super early tomorrow. Super early tomorrow. Are you tired, Hugo? How about you, Luna? Luna, are you tired? Luna. It's like I'm over it. I'm over it. So everyone had their potty break, and it's time for me to get ready for bed. And sleep. I don't know if it's just me, but when I have to get up early, like super early and it's late, I um, always want to just rather like stay up all night. I don't know what it is. I feel like I'd, I'm better off just staying up all night than sleeping just like a few hours. I find that I oversleep and that happens. I'm always so scared about oversleeping, but not sleeping and then working like nine or ten hours will not, will not be a fun thing, so probably should sleep a bit. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.